Today we are headed to one of the neighboring counties. Our extension office puts on what's called an open gate farm tour. So farms of all different shapes and sizes open their gates to the public and you can tour, see how things are made, see what they're producing, uh, different practices. It's really great for people like us that are just starting out on our homesteading and farming journey to see how large and small scale operations are running their business. So we're going to go get some ideas and we'll take you along and hopefully um, I'll remember to mm. film. My dog is not liking that. I'm not. What? You're jealous. He's very jealous. <laughs> so I'll show you um, along the way what we find. <laughs> Farms in Orfield in Lehigh County, Pennsylvania. We'll show you around. Oh, hey! Hey! Chickens. This is my camp. It's like a thousand time my hands. It's a lot of pumpkins. I go into the farm store. It's dark in here. There's lights on there. Connie's Corner. And then there's ornaments. No, wait, I don't know. And then look at this thing. <coughs> Soap here. Yes. This is stuff I don't know. This is soap. Oh. Charcoal. Huh. And then there's this stuff. There is more soap over here. Ocean tides. That's pretty cool. Ginger white tea. Like a pink, yellow. Just finished looking through this farm, so we're going to go to the next farm now. Just pulling up to Lion Creek Farm in New Tripoli, PA, so we're going to give you a little tour. This view is amazing. There's more pumpkins over here and here. I hear a bee. Huh. I don't know why I love old outhouses, but I do. Look how cute that one is. Now to Willow Haven Farms Oops. in New Tripoli, which is about two miles away. This was, uh, Lion Creek was so beautiful. Super hilly. We're trying to get out of the parking spot, which is as you hear a struggle. <laughs> we'll see you at the next one. I already love it. Look at all the cows and my children. Yeah. We're walking. 
looking down over here. There's, I think, pigs and a, um, a garden. Hi. Say hi. Okay. You get to be chickens over there. And then there's pigs everywhere. Hi, Ham. <laughs> ham. Hi. Chilling on dirt, grass. Hello. So, it's gonna get him over here. Guys, get a walnut. Come on. Ready? I don't know if he ate it or not. Now, that wheel in the front is huge. I don't know if I can get it, but. It's five o'clock. I'm in my pajamas. It's been a long day. I'm tired. I made dinner before I left. So grateful to myself from earlier today for doing that and preparing. Uh, it was a really inspiring day. I'd love to talk to farmers and see what has worked for them and what maybe hasn't worked. I found that um, in speaking to farmers and you know small scale farmers, homesteaders, it's never a competition and they're always happy to just talk to you and tell you what has worked and what hasn't worked and offer encouragement. So uh, after leaving Homesteaders of America, I felt so inspired and encouraged by all the people that were doing such great things that we want to do. So I want to keep that momentum up and keep visiting farms and keep working towards our goal. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.